Hi again, everyone. My name is Nick Pierce. Glad to have you along here on the Liberty Flame Sports Network. Hope you're doing well wherever you might be out there in Flames Nation. And it's time now to visit with one of this year's nominees for the Rock Royer Mac Rivera Award. Tanner Elam Hart from the Liberty Flames Cross Country Track and Field Team joins us now from Illinois. Tanner, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Glad to have you here. And congratulations on the nomination. That is the as you well know, most prestigious award that a Liberty student athlete can be nominated for. Uh, when you got that news, uh, what did that make you feel? I mean, I was incredibly honored. I remember going to the Flames piece last year and hearing from the winner there, and I knew how prestigious it was. And so when I had received the email, I was kind of like one blown away, honored, humbled, grateful, kind of a mix of all, but just um, very honored that I was nominated. Well, when you look at uh, what you've been able to do here at Liberty, no shortage of accolades. You were part of a uh, national uh, championship contending 4x400 relay, uh, the first ever relay team to qualify for the national meet, uh, six-time All-A Sun performer, four-time event champion, eight-time Big South event champion, so even before the A-Sun conference. When you look back at your time at Liberty and all that you've been able to accomplish, how proud are you of what you've done just uh, in competition so far? I mean – in comparison to where I was in high school, I mean, so much growth happened while at Liberty and um, growth in all areas of my life. And to be able to get to that um, area of competition and just being able to achieve all of those things that I had kind of always dreamed of and um, gotten there with a team that is just absolutely incredible. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. I just absolutely loved my time competing, and I'm sad my last season was cut, um, but, you know, I'm so grateful for the times that we did have, and we made it all worth it. So it was. it's definitely been um, a ride for sure, and I, I just loved every minute. When you go back, and I was reading through your testimony that you wrote uh, in, in response to being nominated here, you, you came to Liberty from Alaska. That's about as far as you can be still in the United States and go all the way across the country, different culture, I guess, even different climate for sure. What made you want to pack up from Alaska and come all the way to Lynchburg, Virginia? <laughs> there are definitely a couple of things. Um, one, I wanted to make sure um, my degree was in nursing. And so I went and I was looking for schools that one had a nursing program that was a great program. I also wanted a Christian university um, and I wanted um, track and field. I wanted a D1, but at the same time, it was like, it didn't really matter. I just wanted to make sure it was a Christian university um, as well as um, had a good nursing program and everything. So when I was looking into schools, uh, the track coach at Liberty had recruited me and um, I was incredibly honored. Obviously I was like kind of shook that they would even uh, really consider me just being so far away. Um, but anyways, they recruited me and it was down between two schools is really who I had chosen. And when I went and visited Liberty, I mean, it would kind of like solidified it there. I mean, I loved everything about it and I didn't really turn back since then. And I don't have any regrets. I've loved it. You were on the last team that uh, coach Brant Holzma would ever coach as well as he retires this year, your time ends right around the same time his does. What was that relationship like with Coach Tolzma, and uh, what's your time overall at Liberty been like to prepare you for, for life? Um, Brant Tolzma is an incredible, an incredible coach. I didn't have him specifically for my event, but he led that team um, to the best of his abilities every single year. He always had – he told us our mission pretty much every single time we had a team meeting, just being like, make sure when you go out there that you're giving all the glory to God and everything related back to Christ. And that was obviously huge. It's not just, you know, a program saying that. It's really them meaning that. And every coach is very involved in your life. And Coach Tolzma multiple times has invited people over to his house. I mean, uh, he was just very involved with his student athletes. And uh, I really look up to him as a man, as a coach, as a Christian. Um, just in general, he was. I was so glad that I did have him as my head coach. And in the past four years, I don't have any regrets of it. I mean, it was hard being away from family, but I gained that second family here. And I know many other student athletes could say the same thing. Um, but they really were my second family. And I got to go home to Alaska twice a year, but it never really felt, I never felt out of place. Like I really did feel like that was my home. And um, 
I was able to really turn it into that. And when you kind of come alongside other people and you all agree with the same mission and you all really care about each other, I mean, you can't help but grow. And I just, um, looking back on my time at Liberty, I mean, I'm proud to be an alumni. Um, and I don't, I mean, I just, I loved it. I don't really know how else to really um, go across it, but knowing that um, not only professors care for you, all your coaches care for you, pray for you, every single person on campus is just so um, willing to be a part of your life and they want to be a part of your life. And I think that's something that going away from it, um, like you can't really get much better than that. And it also taught me to, I mean, I was in the nursing program, but like seeing con like people all around you care for you, even though they don't know you, that's kind of the same thing I want to bring into nursing when I go into the hospitals is the same kind of love and care that these people who don't even know me have for me and they pray for me every day. Um, that meant a lot. And I can go into the workforce having that same motivation and that same um, aspect. So yeah, I just, I can't speak higher of Liberty in my time there. Great stuff. Well, Tanner, we appreciate it. Congratulations again on uh, getting married here recently. Tanner Elam Hart now, for those that don't Thank know. Thank you. And uh, we wish you all the best here. Congrats on the nomination. Uh, obvious, uh, it's, a, it's a big deal to you and uh, well-deserved. Thank you. I appreciate it.